Sốt đây luôn nè bông ổn, tạo luôn nè bông ổn ba riêng ở quay khá. Bị bọt sầm phía chưa buổi tháp bát chèo cò bò dương cà pì sáp đá mồn. Khi ông sơn khâm tạo luôn nè bông ổn ban tu sơn nè video nô. Bọt sơn bạc luôn nè bông ổn mình ban tu sơn nè video nô thế sông cùng lấy cái rốt mưa video nô nữa lớn. Vận đài sông cùng bò dương. Chốt sáp đá nơi dương miền ở quay pì xe. Dưới nền trước chưa buổi cầm càng nghe vi sáp cò bò dương mà đón đại dương hào thả structural engineer. Bò dương tu sơn nè đồng ốc này thật ta. Ở quay tới chưa structural engineer, hào structural engineer dương thuê cao quay khá. Tak jadi tentu senang tak akhir. Sesudah nyom cuma di dek, hai nyom rian pijak senak pisak kono senak pipon dalam bayi hai nyom mati berka dia bagi sahaja pi senak main dari petang. Sesudah nyom cuma Jordan, I've been a engineer in training for about a few new years now. Completed my master's last year, and I've been working for Petram for about six months now. So today, I'm going to talk about the structural structure. I'm going to talk about the structural structure. I'm going to talk about Petram. I'm going to talk about the structural structure. Jang structural engineer dah kemarin hai tha wisak ko krem kum neng, kerja wisak ko senang simple mana dah kuat macam ni ayat dah kang krem kum, pada tha kang kerong ceng ya kiri kuat tu yang macam awak yang kiri neng rong mawam, hai kung kung depan juga hai men spot peep, hai keton kerong ceng neng ker di mana kerja krem sesu tenam betong tu bau ini cerita yang kerja macam. And in addition to the strength and the safety, a lot of times structural engineers also work to make sure that the building uh, functions well to avoid cracks or other problems that buildings sometimes have. Uh, we're also very involved to make sure that the building can be built affordably. Uh, we want to make sure that the right materials are used, not too little, we don't want it to be unsafe, but not too much because we don't want it to be too expensive. So, okay, I don't know what you said, so... <laughs> okay. So usually, an architect determines what is going to be built, and they usually they give us the plan uh, and show it, tell us or ask us how uh, to build it. So what we, as a structural engineer, have to do is determine the types of loads that the structure will experience, and then th through the loading, determine where the columns are going to be, how big the columns are going to be, the size of the beams, uh, just to hold up the structure. So, uh, I'm working as a uh, engineer in training, so I'm working under Ian. So he will uh, tell me or explain to me the project that we're working on and he'll delegate to me a problem that I'll have to solve. So once he gives me the problem, I'll go to my computer, I'll look through some codes, some standards, uh, work through the problem, maybe work with some colleagues, with the architects if I have questions about the structure, and then I'll come back to Ian uh, to tell him my solution. Uh, oftentimes structural engineers also do some of our own drafting. Many times other members of our team are maybe faster than we are with the drafting software or with uh, models, but it can be really helpful for us to draw our own solutions to make sure that they're going to work. Uh, a lot of times we want to make sure that the sizes that we have calculated, that we've solved in our problem, are sizes that you can find readily available, but also the sizes that we can connect together or that will fit into the spaces that we have to work with. And so drafting is often part of our day as well. Jangan kangen dengan terbaca macam project kami mui nanti terbawa lagi yang niat plan pihak kita cuma yang mau plan sen, hai yang seksa rata yang kau tiap jam kau berombak macam macam, hai yang kau kena ni, hai jadi tadi tu ian kau cina nak nak jadi kau nang cai kangen macam kau yang tak ada yang nyom design, so so mui cuma mui terbawa je nak, hai tapi nang nyom kena ni, nang kau tak pelak pelak excel pelak pelak kampi, saya nak baik cuy kena kena ni, hai pelak kena ni, jadi tu tadi ai kelak kai, tadi nak kai, ai yuk jeng nang hay do có chút kinh nghiệm mà tất mà đó pi đo ngày nay là mấy mờ ca kẹt này nắng hay đặc biệt là kẹt này chắp dân cả thay dân miền còn là một cái quan thái mà chắp đam cùng phong nồng thực thể để 
chấm lại về anh mặc tất tất pin tất đi chạy đam đây ở chân miền kề bên khác cái xu chợ đo đá tha ta chỉ về sạc co kêu một cung kêu mình sạc cho nó ta tới cả chơi cảm thi program là bay model là bay được chỉ in theo được chỉ robot đấy chân tài ớt nhưng ai chỉ bán tha cảm thi từ ở nắng bia chui dướng sầm đạp kia thông thống sầm đạp kia đạp bạc cái này nè lương cả một món hay bị chui dướng ở bên mình càng đi xuống hay lươn mà té dướng mẹ chặt chặt là mỗi dân ai thôi chỉ chỉ nhà ba này dân thời ca miền bắc cái đó mình cũng nhớ nhất thay dân thời ca riêng chắc hay dân thời ca chạy mà đã thay ta là thật là cảm thi từ ở miền mà ta bị trông trai sau hai sau phong mình ở dân thời ca cái này nè đại cái này nè còn anh đại đồng bài bắt chẹt thao viên sau hai sau phong mình In addition to finite element uh, software like robot, like eTabs, uh, as an engineer, many days you'll end up using software programs like Excel, like AutoCAD, uh, or others that are maybe more basic from an engineering perspective, but that we use continuously either to communicate or to do our calculations more efficiently. Uh, if you know a programming language like Python or one of the others similar to that, that can be useful to you. Um, but I would say that that's not required in order to be a practicing engineer. Having a structural engineer as part of your project team can be really important for a number of different reasons. Uh, certainly if your structure, if your building is very different from buildings that you see around uh, that are commonly constructed, um, a, a good uh, contractor, a good Meijin, uh, can build houses similar to what he's seen or done in the past. But if it's not that similar, if there are differences because of the building itself or where the building is located, uh, it can be important to have a structural engineer for those safety reasons, uh, to have enough strength that we talked about before. Uh, another reason is for that uh, cost savings. Although it costs a little bit of money to hire a structural engineer, we are able to save you more money by making sure that the building that is constructed uh, is economical and is uh, only using the materials that are required. And to add a bit to what Ian said, you'd also want to hire a structural engineer uh, if your building is going to be subject to any uh, large loads, such as earthquakes or tsunami uh, loading. So you'd, then you'd want to hire a structural engineer in order to design the building so that it won't fail under the, those conditions. Hey, the job of that day, like my young, I mean, to find a young shop, you remember that we had young architect, engineer, that was there. That young, young, some type of time, but like that, that young man, hey, we can hire a young man to join. That young, that thong, that no, the board, the young, the solar panel, the jetam, that was there. Young, that type, the more, the more, the more, the more. Akhir dah, nampak sangat ke young, kat mereka engineer, dan mereka mahu sekolah kat sana. Young, tu ban, dah sangat kecil, berat. Hey, dah nampak dah nampak dah panjang ha. Mian tadi je pemian preh pemian panjang asrot aja dan. Kalau yang terkait dengan jenis dan dapat kos sekolah kat sana, dia panjang thom or tadi mabi ai, hai yang kuat yang macam dapat kau ai panjang thom yang montir. So one of the major projects I've been working here during my internship was for YOM Badenbaum. They're building a new multi-purpose complex on their campus, and it's a very interesting. Uh, building because it's mostly made out of steel, but there's masonry encasements, concrete buildings on the side of the structure. So as a structural engineer, we have to decide how we want to allow the two st structures to interact with each other because the steel is uh, often able to def uh, deflect a lot more than masonry or concrete is, allow is allowed to. Uh, if the steel deflects along with the masonry, the masonry is going to start to crack. And so as a structural engineer, we have to decide how we want to limit that sort of problem. Yeah, that's a great example as well because it talks a little bit more to that question of what does a typical day look like for us. On that project in Betambang, we're working with the client, the uh, owner, YWAM. We're actually working with an architecture company from America called 100 Fold, who are doing a great job with the design of the architecture and the general campus. We're working with a company that's designing uh, and will fabricate the steel structure, and we're working with the contractor who will end up building all of it. So altogether, that makes for five or six different parties that we're communicating with constantly. We're getting ideas from the architects, we're running our calculations, 
we're suggesting different solutions back to the architects or to the steel company. Uh, and so there's a lot of that communication, a lot of coordination that happens in order to make the project successful in the end. Chang uh, project mới đại nhóm thừa nó cứ quạt ban ao nhóm design tập bộ mới đại tập bộ nó thừa trust thừa đáy hay chẳng về về miền cà đại nhóm cho chặt nắng về cái thay về miền về thay chay bậc đời chân thời bậc cai nông ca pra pra tầng geometry tầng cần đặt vị trí tầng xem xét cái nhóm pra pra tầng ao đồng bay thôi chẳng mấy ở về ao lối tết pra pra material đại bình miền hay về thủ thái hay về nó tập đồng quan khang đôi được bao xây đại về Clang đã bị trải chiến tranh chiếm bởi những thôi thôi bán đi và tay những chẳng bia ở lối tay những chẳng bay 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 những chẳng Uh, which ended up being almost 10 meters tall in a very high seismic area, lots of earthquakes in another country in Southeast Asia. Uh, and they needed this retaining wall to protect the building that they were constructing. So as the structural engineer, we also get involved with some of those projects to make sure that we can support other parts of facilities or buildings, um, not just buildings themselves. My favorite part about being a structural engineer is when, once you've solved a problem, uh, once you've put a lot of work into it, looking at the calculations, you put it all on a spreadsheet and you just change one number and all the numbers just work out perfectly. There's nothing quite as satisfying as that. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bisa ko kang kerum kum mana ada bisa ko semua siapa mana yang terai terian selah kang bisa kam hanya bahan pecap degree degree pun senam lebih ke perak senam pecap degree nang hai jadi tak nong degree nang ke Eropah thai yang rian merian sangat lekan di cia strength of material structural analysis concrete design steel design foundation design cedam nang di cia fundamental di cia kerus sangat lebih yang ad เป็นจุดเทือกยังอายุการงานบ้านชั้นอายุการดีไซน์บ้านได้ให้ให้วิจัยได้ต่อไปเดี๋ยวเรียนจบก็ยังมาตอนอายุยังไม่สมัครเท
So it's really great that we're able to do work that helps them as they're taking care of their communities, as they're building hospitals or schools. Uh, there's a really great outcome for the work that we do. And then in the office, uh, we really enjoy getting to work together. Um, these two both have a tendency to ask really good questions, sometimes really hard questions, uh, that make me go back and think and re-understand uh, why it is that I've been doing something the way that I have. Yeah, no, I really enjoy working with Petram. Uh, the community here is very great. Uh, we have, we're very Christ-centric here, so we have a lot of uh, devotions every morning, and it's really fun to work with these guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask you 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 to ask YouTube, Thank you. Bye. Bye.